Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at some of the fundamental limits related to Laplace transform. Limits related to Laplace transform. The first one we want to prove is limit s tends to infinity f of s is equal to 0. Of course, f of s is the Laplace transform of a function f of t. That is, f of s is Laplace transform of a function f of t. So, by using the definition of Laplace transform, we have f of s equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. Now by applying the limit s tends to infinity f of s is equal to the limit s tends to infinity integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. Now by taking the limit inside the integral we have integral 0 to infinity limit s tends to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. Since s is a different variable than t, we can take the limit inside the integral and apply the limit on the function e power minus st, which is the only function of s. And clearly, e power minus st when s tends to infinity is 0. That means this value is 0. As a result, the integral is also equal to 0. Therefore, limit s tends to infinity f of s is equal to 0. Therefore, this means that the Laplace transform eventually reaches a value equal to 0. That is, as s tends to infinity, f of s is 0. Let us look at the second one. Limit as s tends to infinity, s times f of s is equal to f of 0. That is the initial value of the function f of t. From the definition of a Laplace transform of the derivative of a function f of t, that is Laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s times f of s minus the initial value f of 0. Now, by sending f of 0 to the left side, we clearly have s of f of s is equal to Laplace transform of f dash t, that is the Laplace transform of the first derivative of the function f of t plus the initial value f of 0. So, now by applying the limit s tends to infinity on both sides, we have limit s tends to infinity s times f of s is equal to limit s tends to infinity Laplace transform of f dash of t plus f of 0. And now by using the definition of a Laplace transform, we have limit s tends to infinity integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f dash of t dt. And the second term is basically independent of s, so it should be equal to f of 0. Now the only term that is a function of s is e power minus st. So in the limit s tends to infinity e power minus st becomes 0. So the first term is obviously equal to 0. Therefore, limit s tends to infinity s into f of s is f of 0. This limit is also known as initial value theorem. Because it deals with the initial value of the function f of t. That is the limit s tends to infinity s times the Laplace transform is equal to the initial value of the function. Now let us look at the third and the final limit. Limit s tends to 0 s times f of s should be equal to the final value of the function that is f of infinity which can also be written as limit t tends to infinity f of t. So this is the final value of the function f of t and this is also known as the final value theorem. Again, starting with the definition of the 
Laplace transform of the first derivative, that is this definition, that is Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function f of t is equal to s times f of s minus f of 0 and then with s times f of s equal to the Laplace transform of the derivative plus the initial value. So, starting with this equation, we have s of f of s is equal to Laplace transform of f dash of t, that is the first derivative plus f of 0. Now, by applying the limit s tends to 0 on both sides, we have limit s tends to 0, s times f of s is equal to the limit s tends to 0, the Laplace transform of f dash of t plus f of 0. Now, by using the definition of the Laplace transform, we have limit s tends to 0 integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f dash of t dt plus f of 0. Now, this limit is equal to, and since e power minus st is the only term that is a function of s, so we can take the limit inside, the limit s tends to 0 e power minus st becomes 1, that is, we can rewrite the integral as 0 to infinity, integral 0 to infinity, limit s tends to 0 e power minus st multiplied by f dash of t dt plus f of 0. And this limit is equal to 1, so we are, we have integral 0 to infinity f dash of t dt, that is the first term reduces to this integral. And then we have the initial value f of 0. And clearly the integral of f dash t is f of t, so the integral is f of t and the limits are 0 to infinity plus f of 0. Clearly, this should be equal to f of infinity. And the limit f limit t tends to infinity, f of t is equal to f of infinity. Therefore, the limit s tends to 0, s times f of s, that is when s is multiplied with the Laplace transform, and this product s times f of s for the limit s, e, s tends to 0, that is as, as s approaches 0, it becomes equal to the final value of the function, that is f of infinity which can also be written as limit t tends to infinity f of t. So, this is the proof for final value theorem. Thus, to summarize, the limit of the Laplace transform as s tends to infinity becomes equal to 0 and the limit of the Laplace transform are multiplied by s as s tends to infinity, that is its final value is equal to the initial value of the function. So, this is the initial value theorem and finally, the limit as s tends to 0, s times the Laplace transform is equal to the final value of the function, that is f of infinity. Thanks for watching.